Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make crispy fried chicken tender at home. The ingredients for this recipe are chicken breast, salt, paprika, black pepper, and flour. These are a must ingredients. These are optional. Um, spices, if you don't have it at home, you don't need to put it in. Rosemary leaves, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, and red pepper flakes. I start by adding two cups of all-purpose flour in a big bowl. First, I'm going to add uh, my uh, must spices. It's half a tablespoon of black pepper, a little bit more than half a tablespoon of paprika. Paprika is giving the fried chicken that beautiful color and the taste. And I'm going to add half a tablespoon of salt. Now I'm going to add my optional spices which are uh, rosemary leaves, a pinch of rosemary leaves, about half a teaspoon of garlic powder and a little bit less than tea, half a teaspoon of um, cayenne pepper and two or three pinches of um, bread pepper flakes. Mix everything very well, put it aside. And next, um, I'm going to make the egg batter. For my egg batter, I poured one cup of milk, any kind of milk, two person or whole milk, in a bowl and then add one egg. Mix it very well. In a medium pan, I heat some oil and I put all my ingredients in order. My flour, my egg batter, and my chicken. Let the oil get nice and hot in a medium heat and start making your chicken tender. First, I'm gonna put a piece of chicken in my egg batter. Then I'm gonna put it on my flour with all the spices. Coat it with the flour. Shake excessive flour and then put it in the pot. I'm putting a timer for 20 minutes. It takes 20 minutes for the chicken to be cooked fully on a medium heat. Keep an eye on your chicken while you're cooking it. This looks really good. I still have 14 minutes to go. My chicken tenders are ready. It has been frying for 20 minutes. I'm gonna take them out. They look crunchy, crispy, and beautiful. Paprika is really giving the chicken that beautiful color. I rinsed and cut some celery, red pepper, 
and cucumbers. I'm going to serve my chicken tender with these vegetables. I'm going to put my chicken tender on the plate and I cut one grapefruit. I put two pieces of that on the side of the plate. Dinner is ready. The chicken is really crispy and tasty. For my vegetables, I'm going to pour a little bit Caesar salad dressing on top of it. I hope you enjoy watching this recipe and I really appreciate your support. Thank you for watching.